Hello guys, you're welcome to my YouTube channel and also welcome to today mathematics class. So for this one, call me Wike Neko Nanjang Examination. Okay, in this class, we'll be looking at this particular topic called geometry word progression. And under this geometry progression, we'll be looking at this one. So this sort of topic as as meaning of GP, any kind of GP, sum of GP, and sum to infinity what of GP. So before we move further, if this is your first time, Watch my video or visit my channel. Do well to subscribe, like, and click the button in case what you have a need today like this. So I want to give you the summary of this topic. After the summary of this topic, you'll be looking likely question and answer based on this question of this topic for white, neckle, and jam question. Okay, for this coming white, neckle, and jam or question or pertain to what for this topic. Okay. Let's move further because I don't want this video to be what, too much or long. So let me quickly watch what is the definition of what? What is what? GP. The meaning of GP. GP is a sequence in which two consecutive, in which any two consecutive terms differ by common ratio. What I'm saying next is this. When I say GP, it's a sequence in which GP a2 consecutive times differ s differ by common ratio which is denoted as what well, small what l common ratio is denoted as what well, as small l so that is the meaning of what of gp so let us move down towards n time of what of gp n time of GP now. So let's talk about the word n time of GP. Let's talk about the n time of GP. This n time of GP has a word general formula, which mathematically says that we have TN is equal to A L raised power A minus 1. This is the general formula to calculate what n time of what of GP. The meaning of what of this TN. This TN is what is in is the n time of GP itself. Where is our A? Our A is the what is the first time of GP. Where is our R? Our R is what common ratio. Common ratio of what of the GP. And where is our N? Is the number of time. Number of time. Number of time. Sorry, let me write this very well. Number of time. N is the number of time. Tn is what is n time of GP in itself. Where our A is what? The first time of GP. Our R is what? Common ratio. And our N is what? It's number of time of what? Of the GP. So in this place now, maybe you are giving a question to find what? The first time. And I said that the first time of GP is called to what? A. A represents what? The first time of GP. So if you want to calculate the second time of GP, the third fourth and sixth time of GP, you can calculate it for what for this general formula now. For example, now if you want to get the second time of GP, so you just see that the second time of GP is what second time, second time of GP is equal to 80 seconds. Our n means our number of time, which I was talking about was second time of GP, where our n now is equal to what two. So now for this general formula now, our n is equal to two. So you put n is equal to 2 to this second formula. So after you do the calculation, you get what? The formula to calculate what the second time of what? Of GP. So let's go to it. We have our Tn is equal to what? A r is by n minus 1. And to calculate the second time of GP, we have our n is equal to what? 2. So in this place now, we place n where see n now, we place our what? By 2. So this one now became T2 is equal to, we have a r is by 2 minus what? 1. So now 2 minus 1, we have what 1. So therefore now our t2 is equal to what a r is power what 1. So the formula to calculate what the second term of GP is called to what t is called to t2 is equal to a r. This r is power what 1. A is power 1 is what is that thing. So here now you can say therefore it can also write it at least t2 is equal to what a what r. So this is the formula to calculate what second term of what of GP. So if you want to talk about the top time of GP, the top time, the top time of GP, 
the top ten of GP. So if you want to calculate the total of GP now, you know your what? The number of ten here is what? It's third. Who is got to what? Our n is got to what? Three. So when you put it what? So this general formula now. The general formula you have to n is got to what? A r is power n minus what? One. And in our top ten now, our n is got to what? It's three now. So anyway, you see what n replaced by what? Three. So you have our t three is got to we have our r a is power i n a r. Our n here, we have TV minus what? 1. So TV minus 1, we have what? 2. So now, therefore, our T TV now is equal to what? A R with power what? 2. So this is the formula to calculate what? The top time of what? Of GP. So if we want to calculate the fourth, the fourth time of GP is to be equal to, our n is equal to what? 4. Because the number of times is what? It's 4. So now, n is equal to 4 now. From this general formula now, we say that Tn is equal to what? A r is power n minus what? 1. So our n is equal to what? 4. So anyway, see what n is equal to what? 4. So we have our T4 is equal to what? A r is power 4 minus 1. 4 minus 1. This gives us what? 3. So here now our T4 now is equal to what? A r is power what? 3. So this is the formula to calculate what? The fourth time of what? Of GP. And the same thing, if you want to calculate the fifth, the fifth time of what of GP is equal to now just subtract one for what? Just subtract one from this what? From this five, which gives us what? Four. So this one will be equal to T5 is equal to what? A R with power what? Four. So the same thing goes to what? The sixth. The sixth is subtract one from six, give us five. So therefore now our T6 is equal to A R with power what? We have five. This formula to calculate what the top the sixth time of what of GP. If we to calculate the seventh, the same thing. So start one for seven. Then the number of time here is what is seven. So if so start one for seven, we gives us what six. It means our R is with power what of six. So here now to calculate our top our seventh now is be equal to T seven is equal to we have A R with power what six. So that is our to generate what formula for this or any time you are given. So now to get the our eight time. Our a time now will be equal that is t a is equal to what? Our a time, the a time is what t a is equal to what? t eight is equal to a r is power what? Seven. It's power seven to get our our a time. So that is how what you did what calculation based on what of a time of G P. Okay, that is all about what G P. We will do the calculation on it after the summary of what of this what particular topic. So now let's move to what. We have done this one, definition of GP. We are talking about what the A time of GP. In the summary, A time of GP asks what? General formula. We say our Tn is equal to what? AR with power L minus 1. We have our Tn is what? Is the A time of GP. Our A is what? The first time. And our R is what? Common ratio. And N is what? A time of what? Of GP. So note that this formula very well. So let's move to the sum of what? Of A time of GP. So the summary, we have the sum of a time of gp so now this sum of a time of gp has to be formula and it has to be case so now in case one hey sorry we have the case one the case one the case one is that when and when l is greater than one when l is greater than one so the sum of n time of GP is equal to Sn is equal to the formula is given as A into bracket when R is equal to A is greater than 1, it will be equal to R is power n minus 1 close bracket over what? R minus what? 1. It means that this R is greater than what? That this 1. So this is the formula you use. Anyway, you get your R is equal to what? It's greater than what? 1. You use this formula to calculate what sum of what of GP. And the case two. When n, sorry, when r is greater really less than one, when the common ratio is less than one, so the sum of GP, the formula is given as we have a into brackets one minus what r is power n plus brackets over what over one minus what r. So this is the formula to calculate when the common ratio is less than one. This is the formula you use. And the case theory, which is the last case. Case theory, 
when n when sorry when r is equal to what one when r is equal to what one so for this space now our sum of infinity now so sum of what gp now now become cn is equal to what a n so this is the formula to calculate what uh, this is going to calculate what sum of what of gp when our r is equal to what one okay so this is a tv formula you'll be using to calculate what sum of what of gp so just note anything when you say r, our r is equal to what less than one or is greater than one you use this formula to calculate what sum of what of gp and when it was less than one you use this formula to calculate what sum of gp and if this was equal to one you use this formula to calculate what sum of what of gp so I think it's about it's all about what sum of what of GP. So we do the calculation part of it in the what in the next video. This is just what the sum of what of this G, of this or GP. So let me start the last one on sum to what infinity, sum to infinity, sum to infinity, sum to infinity of what of GP. So what we just do here. The formula states that this one has a general formula, and this formula states that formula state that we have the sum of what infinity is equal to a over what one minus what r, because in infinity our r is always was less than one. So this is the formula to what to calculate or sum to infinity of what of GP. So if you like this video, I think we should drop the curtain for today's video. So in the next video now, you'll be looking at our calculation based on what the n time of GP and calculation based on what sum of what GP and calculation based on what sum to what infinity of GP. But in this video, I just want to give you the summary about what GP, geometry word progression. I hope you understand this part of this video. And if you have any questions pertaining to this video, you can let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching.